Well, welcome to another day here on our Mediterranean cruise. And today, if you can't tell, we are in Rome. That's right, we are in Rome. If you can't tell, right behind us is the Colosseum. Right there, there it is. It's big. It's big, it's quite big. And if you haven't done so already, click that like button, click that subscribe button, and ring that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos, especially from this Mediterranean cruise. So, let's get our day started in Rome, and let's get to checking out some ancient history. Ancient history? Ancient. Ancient, very old. We have nothing like this. America. Nothing. Let's really go. Cool. So once again, we are starting our day pretty early in the morning as we get off the ship here. It is 730 in the morning. As you turn here, we can see the sun that is rising just over the ship there. Beautiful sight. Had a quick breakfast of some fruit and croissants upstairs real quick just so we could get out of there of something in our stomach. So we made our way to our bus. Today we are doing the exclusive Colosseum and Vatican tour in Rome which includes lunch. It is a $439 per person fee. It is extremely expensive, but this is the one excursion we wanted to make sure we did so we could see the Vatican. So once on the bus, we can see this beautiful countryside here. We were able to see this all over the entire cruise. Everywhere we went, the countryside was just beautiful. Look at those mountains right there in the distance. I loved it. Now, one thing that might seem weird to you is we stopped at a truck stop here so that everyone could use the restroom, get something to eat, but they had a French pastry chef working. Check this out. So we stopped at a truck stop here on our way to Rome. And it's safe to say that Italy's truck stops might have a little better food than uh, the truck stops back home that all my drivers go to. That's <laughs> just, just a little. Holy cow. Crystal's admiring this pistachio croissant up here. And I want the cannoli. Oh, and they got a cannoli. a cannoli. We're in Italy. We'll get one in Rome. Okay. Right, because Crystal's scared of getting it like on her dress. Right? So there we go. So after the great cannoli debate, Crystal and I headed back onto the bus. It was about a 45 minute ride from our port in Civitavecchia which was, like I said, about a 45 minute to an hour bus ride from Rome. But as you see, we were greeted with some beautiful architecture as we pulled into Rome. I just, everywhere we went, I cannot get over just how much intricate work goes into everything that has been built here. I mean, obviously we're talking about things that are a thousand years old, but still just beautiful everywhere you looked. And then it was finally time for us to pull in to the Colosseum. And literally, I mean, out of nowhere, out popped the Colosseum, which you saw in our opening from today's video. So let's head in and let's check out the Roman Colosseum. The Roman Colosseum, an icon of the Roman Empire, which is something I have to say I think about quite often. The construction began in 72 AD, was completed in 80 AD, which makes it over 1900 years old. And here we are literally witnessing history where over 400,000 gladiators, slaves, prisoners are presumed to have fought and died inside this Colosseum. So much history all around this area, all this cobblestone. As you can see, so many tourists every day come to see this Roman Colosseum everywhere you look. I mean, literally all around there is just beauty and just glorious architecture. You have to make sure that you get your Instagram pictures Make sure you get everything done. Crystal wore a beautiful dress this day, so we had to make sure we documented it. Just, I loved everything about the Colosseum. It was such an amazing, amazing place. Now, we did not have tickets to go inside the Colosseum on this day. We had about two hours from when the bus dropped us off. So we explored all around outside the Colosseum and looked at all 80 arches, which the Colosseum has, explored all the grounds and all the amazing things around the Colosseum. One of those really cool things to see around the Colosseum is the Arch of Constantine, which is a triumphal arch in Rome that was dedicated to Emperor Constantine the Great. 
They did this to commemorate the battle that Constantine had over Maxterius is now strategically placed between the Colosseum, as you see, and the Palatine Hill, which we'll go to shortly. And it showed the route that was taken by the victorious military leaders as they entered the city in their triumphant procession as they came back victorious warriors. So down there is basically was known as the Capitoline, is the capital of the Roman Empire, of Rome, all that. It's where you have the statue of Julius Caesar, the Pantheon, that's an extra ticketed event. So we are just up here on this hill to get in through here because you go through a museum and everything to get there. And our ticketed event is the Vatican. So that's what we're doing. But it's still just amazing to see all this, just even from afar. So as I said, we had two hours to walk around after the bus dropped us off, and that was plenty of time. We saw everything we wanted to see in the surrounding areas, the Colosseum, all gorgeous, all amazing architecture. Then it was time to get on the bus and head to lunch. The movie is a valley, it's a public park. You can see now very well the background, the distance, the ruins of the Emperor Palace. But all around the Circus Maximo, we're located... So as I said, lunch was included with this excursion, and sadly, lunch was probably the most disappointing part of this excursion. We had wine and water waiting for us at the table. That was a very nice touch. But the pasta... It tasted like Chef Boyardee, like it tasted like SpaghettiOs and it was just not good. Then the steak, the steak was not, it was very tough, it was I think boiled, I don't even think it was cooked on a grill. The salad had barely any dressing on it and the potatoes were rather cold and everything was cold. But you know what, if the lunch is what's the most disappointing part, that is okay because as you see here, these are the walls of Vatican City and we are about to enter an entirely different country. We are heading to Vatican City. So as we made our way off the bus, we waited just outside the Vatican walls with our tour group as we met our tour guide. You see her pink handkerchief up there. That was how we knew it was her. We made our way through security because once you are through these walls, you are no longer in Italy. You are in the country of the Vatican, in Vatican City to be exact. Now right here, we made our way into the museum courtyard the museum is enormous. It is quite long. It is four and a half miles if you are to walk the exact length of the museum. It houses the most amount of statues anywhere in the world. I mean, we're talking thousands of statues and they are all amazing. Now the museums at the Vatican house not just statues, they house caskets as you see here for dignitaries. They have tapestries that are almost a century old that took six years to make. And there is hundreds of them all over this place. Everywhere you look, there is just details after details and so many fine pieces of art. It's just unbelievable everywhere you look. Now what the Vatican is obviously known for is the Sistine Chapel, which there is no filming, there's no photography. There is not even speaking aloud in there because you are in a house of worship. But the ceiling obviously has been painted in there beautifully as you have seen it. If you're a Disney fan, you have obviously seen it on Spaceship Earth and Epcot. But right there, that ceiling, that is not painted. That is mosaic. Those are mosaic tiles. Now, as I said, Vatican City is its own country separate from Italy. And they do have their own police force. However, the Pope himself, since the 15th century, has been protected by the Swiss Guard obviously a mercenary force from Switzerland, but do not take their colorful Renaissance era uniforms that they wear for granted. They are a well-trained mercenary force by the Swiss government, and they are a loyal, loyal force to the Pope and protect him. Now we got to spend about an hour, maybe just a little over an hour inside the museums at the Vatican, walking around, looking at everything before we went into the Sistine Chapel, where we spent about 20 minutes admiring everything inside there there is so much inside there so much i didn't even know about and you don't even have to be a religious person to admire this place i mean the beauty and the detail is just enough after that we made our way to saint peter's square which you see here this is where the pope hosts easter services that you see on tv where the whole square is filled they will also be hosting jubilee shortly which will bring millions and millions i mean tens of millions of people to rome now over crystal's shoulder here you will see a set of apartments this is where the pope lives the Pope actually lives 
and does his blessing out one of those windows every Sunday. Now, as beautiful and as intricate as St. Peter's Square is, we would be remiss without going and seeing St. Peter's Basilica. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at those ceilings. Now, if you did not know, St. Peter was the first pope, and he was buried on top of Vatican Hill in a shallow grave, where Emperor Constantine decided to build St. Peter's Basilica in honor of, obviously, his namesake. Beneath St. Peter's Basilica, you will find a series of catacombs and tombs, and that is where the supposed tomb of St. Peter's is located. Now, also inside St. Peter's Basilica, you will find Pope John Paul II's resting place. Did not take any pictures or videos, as this is a site of worship where he is located in the basilica, so you obviously have to honor that. But it was just such a cool experience to see all of the beauty and all of the intricate details inside this basilica. I'm not Catholic. And like I said, you do not have to be a Catholic or even be religious to just honor and to see the beauty that is in the details and all of these things inside Vatican City. All right, well, we just made it back on the ship, got in the shower, got changed, got refreshed. I think we're going to go try out the main dining room again. Um, hopefully it came over in the voiceover, but the Vatican, amazing. Just, you don't even have to be religious. It's just beautiful. Just to take pride in that much workmanship is amazing. It's just amazing. Anyway, hopefully it all came across well on the voiceover because it was a very, very, very good excursion. To me, it was worth every dime. Anyway, I'm starving. All I had to eat today was that lunch that we had, and I'm ready to eat. So let's go try the main dining room one more time. So we chose to go to the Manhattan room once again, which was on the back of the ship, the aft of the ship. And the menu you see here did not change from the night when we were there prior, except for right here where you see the daily entrees they feature. Those bacon wrapped shrimp look delicious. The short ribs, it all looked good. If you need a wine pairing suggestion, there you have it right there. And we were seated right out the back windows. We were able to look right at the other ships that were in port with us, right at the pier. It was a cool view to have dinner, just the two of us. Now here's my appetizer, the tostadas. They're tortilla chips. Now these still tasted fine, they had good toppings, but it's a tortilla chip. It was funny. I mean, come on, it's funny. Crystal got the stuffed mushrooms, which she really enjoyed. She liked those very much. And for dinner, I went with those bacon-wrapped Cajun shrimp and grits. They were phenomenal. And Crystal got the braised short ribs and noodles. And they were so good. I had the waitress bring me a dish of it. It was so good. I loved it. It was phenomenal dinner. The quality of food we had tonight in the main dining room was great, which leads us to dessert. Now, dessert did not change on the menu from the time we were there prior, except for the daily sugar-free selection, which you see there is a vanilla cheesecake. We got our espressos as well. I went with the banana split. Can't go wrong with a good banana split, right? Just a nice little ice cream sundae. And Crystal went with the black forest cake. She was okay with it. She just mainly got it to have something sweet. So we're just hanging out here in the atrium, waiting for our friends, because our friends all had dinner, because they got back earlier than we did. And we finished before them. We got there later. So Manhattan Room totally redeemed itself. A plus. Loved everything we had. Good times. So anyway, came and got Starbucks here in the atrium, and we're just waiting for them to finish. And I think we're going to go sit in Malting's bar up top on deck seven. And I think we're going to play Uno or a card game, something. We're going to play some cards. So obviously we are here in Colorado. We are no longer on the Norwegian Epic. And that just shows how good of a time we had. I once again completely forgot to film an ending. I am sorry, but here we are. Rome and the Vatican, it was an awesome day. What a fun time. I mean, literally some of the most historic things I can ever think of wanting to see, I saw this day. The Roman Colosseum, I mean, wow. Wow. It's just the amount of history that is in that place just takes my breath away. The Vatican, I mean, come on, it's the Vatican. Like I said, you don't have to be religious to know about the Vatican. It was just so cool. So cool. And just, man, editing this vlog brought back so many memories of 
Crystal and I sharing time together on this trip and seeing things that we had been talking about for almost two years that we've had this cruise plan. And to do it with Crystal and to be able to come together with our friends every night and talk about the things we saw where we were in the same city, same place and saw different things was so cool. I mean, hearing my friends who went and did their own thing, talk about what they went and saw makes me want to go back. I mean, just editing this vlog makes me want to go back. It reminds myself of like how much fun we had. I mean, just literally the memories, the memories are so cool. And the memories are why we do the vlog because now I can go back and I can watch it and remember those times. And that's so cool to me. I mean, I can remember all the delicious food, not today, in this vlog, because the lunch we had again, that was, it was trash. It was so bad. I hate to say that, but it was, it was like banquet style chef boyardee. It was so bad. Anyway. Speaking of food, the Manhattan Room, we had dinner here that night, completely redeemed itself. I mean, it was so good. It was the opposite of what we had on night one. Amazing service, amazing food. So good. So good. That made that made just the day that much better knowing that we went back to the ship, which we used as our hotel and our transportation to get to and from where we wanted to be in Europe. We got to have a good meal. And then afterwards, we just went to Maltings, the whiskey bar, like we did almost every night. And talk with our friends, reconnect, and then literally go to bed because we would been out in the heat for, I think it was another 100 degree day this day, and we were out there for 10 hours, and it was time to go to bed. I mean, unfortunately, this is a trip where you are going to see a lot of Europe. You are not going to see us spending a lot of time at shows or on the ship because this trip was all about seeing as much as we could with the time we had, and that's what we did, and we loved it. So hopefully... It comes across in the vlog. Hopefully you see some fun stuff that maybe you've never seen. I just, I hope so. I hope so. Because it's been fun for us to do this and we enjoy doing it. So thank you all. We appreciate it so much. Again, thank you all so much for watching. If you have not done so already, click that subscribe button. Click that like button. And ring that bell icon so you're notified whenever we release new videos. But most importantly, guys, thank you all so much for stopping by. And for the love of the mouse, never forget that it all started with a mouse. We only need